Okay, uh, rundown. Today is what? March 27th? 8th. 8th. March 7th. 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 All right. Uh, brought to you by High Noon. If you're a tequila lover who's never satisfied with malt hard seltzer offerings, you're going to love the new High Noon tequila. Real tequila, real juice. Clean finish, real Blanco tequila, 100 calories, gluten-free, no sugar added. Uh, there's strawberry, passion fruit, lime, grapefruit. I see them going everywhere, so I think they're going well. Um, and remember, we're doing a contest. It ends. So if you see this, you got to get on it. I got to post a bunch tomorrow. But the contest is make your own tequila commercial. Uh, you can use the song tequila. We have the rights to it. It has to be done by the 30th. I'll pick the winner, the 31st, I think. The winner gets a trip for two, Cinco de Mayo to Louisville. Um, the horse is the work. So uh, there's we, we'll put in the contest rules, but you got to hurry up. you got to put hashtag high noon tequila, hashtag contest, and tag me. So that's running out of time to do that. That's going on right now. You can get them at Drizzly, local convenience store, liquor store. Visit high noon sun spirits, uh, dot com to find near you. I think they're pretty much everywhere now. I'm not sure, but I think they're pretty pretty much rolled out. Um, okay, let's get into it. Rico joining us. Uh, final four set. Bunch of different things to go. It's a crazy final four. Obviously, first time all the number one seeds have been eliminated. Uh, didn't even make it, what, to the grade eight? Was it elite yeah. eight, grade eight? Yeah, no. Um, UConn, a heavy favorite going into it, Rico. I've been seeing you. You've been on the wrong side of like 10 straight, it looks like. I don't even know whether they're Photoshopping. I assume they are. I don't think you no, got all these. Those are real, Dave. Well, how do you get those jumpsuits that he, quickly? He power joins broker. every team. Yeah, he's a power broker. He, so Dave, so you're you're just wrong on everything? That's your, your new thing? Just be wrong all the time? It's not what is... Uh, Turn what I intended, but that's the way it's turning out. Also, K State won the day after the initial drop. You keep saying meeting. this, so like, you know, yeah, I was but off you the were, you, you no, know, not really, because you were, you were Alabama, yeah, I'm, up to like, so oh. you were still Alabama when. And, and by the way, we can start with them. I tweeted yeah. this out, and, and I do believe. It you could say this is the worst year any college basketball team has ever had, mm -hmm. um, because obviously and now you, you can go. The, I'm not even getting the specifics of uh, Brandon Miller and how involved or wasn't he involved and whatever happened. But you had a guy on the team commit murder that just happened, um, or he's accused of murder. He's on trial. Uh, Rico, we talked about it because you went dark during that time. I'm like you got to talk about it, and you were adamant not for show. Winning cures all. Like, mm -hmm. as long as they win, maybe killing a couple people are worth it. Um, they didn't suspend the guy. They didn't do anything, even though he, he, the gun was in his car. But whatever, the specifics. All that to get eliminated in the round of 16. Brandon Miller was awful. I thought they were going to win the whole thing. He was terrible. Um, your coach looks like hey. an idiot. Oh, can't can we, coach. Can, has no can't moral coach. compass. One of the worst guys to ever live, surrounded no, by guys absolutely. like Rico and yeah. Brandon Miller. Dave, he can't coach. He has never been past the round of 16. For Rico to, to you know, he takes shots at everyone else's teams. Nate Oates is a bad coach when it comes to the tournament, and that's when you get judged as a coach. He's and never been in the round of 16. He's only beaten a lower seed or a higher seed once. That was with Buffalo when he beat Arizona. Since then, he's never beat a seed higher than eight. Not only that, but Dave, I want to do a little like thought starter for you. When they were a two in 2021, they would have been playing that game in the Southeast as a two seed, but it was the fucking mask year. So they had to go play it in Indianapolis as well. You, this That's the excuse well, that you're using? With anything. Holy fuck. You well, see one seed this year. Yeah. And, okay. and this, yeah, this year, listen, San Diego State being... holds teams to good percentage from three. That oh, hurt my us. God. 2021 was his other most talented That's what you're year. Listen, going let, with? Let, 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 let me tell you this, Rico. If you're going to be a bad guy, you can't be a bad coach. If you're yeah. going to be a He's bad a guy, bad coach. you better be a very good coach. Like uh, like, you said, like, you coach. Said, like you coach. said, like you said, like you said, like you said, like you said, Rico, like you, you said, winning cares all, but he didn't win anything. He, He's he a bad coach, Rico. Yeah, it was a build. Win the SEC. There were two goals. Win the SEC. Win the championship. Dave, Came up let short. me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because Rico knows ball. Bosco and one. Go check it out. Uh, that what is that? 
It's a show. Lost series. going one. Is it really? Is Bosco and one? You haven't been watching Bosco yeah. and one? Zach no. Eady, Stanford Steve. I Frank watched Frischilla. the Stanford Steve episode. It was good. We had Tyler Kolick on. So you put the mush on him too? Yeah. Uh, so Tyler yeah. Kolick, who I thought was good, and I still maybe had the worst I interviewed him in seen. January, though. I interviewed yeah, him in you, like. You know what? Your stink doesn't last a year? Yeah, I mean, you Wait. just listed Zach Eady bouncing in the first round, Tyler, I mean, Tyler Kolick bouncing in the second round. Fran Fraschilla uh, doesn't troops. like the troops. No, yeah, that's, that's incorrect. He got a raw deal. No, he got that's a raw what deal. you told us. You're, you're the one who spread. I, the only reason I know that is because you said that for three. Yes, years. and you the newspapers, the, the newspapers had an agenda. You know that, Dave. I found out the real story. Yeah, but I didn't read it from the newspapers. After. I read it from you. Who read it from the newspapers? It's, yeah, it's two know. degrees of separation. Uh, Dave, question, uh, hypothetical. You're, I'll do two hypotheticals. One, uh, you're up in a game, and the opposing team goes on a 12-0 run. Do you take a timeout? I would. Okay. Uh, off that hypothetical, so this is still the same hypothetical, uh, do you think taking two timeouts with you to the golf course is smart in tournament play? No. Okay. That I would agree with you. Having two timeouts at the end of the game in your back pocket, bad coach. Hypothetical number two. You have one of the best defenses in the country. There's 47 seconds left. You're up two. Do you play defense or do you foul? I would play defense. I would play defense too, Dave. Both those things NATO can I ask do. A hypothetical? A it was an unintentional count. Can, 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 can I have can I have a hypothetical? They didn't plan on yeah. fouling. In if fairness. If you if, if your team is involved in a mass murder, uh mass. Not what, mass. Would would you Suspend the guy just so you can say it's a bad look for the program. We're not sure what happened. This is a life issue. It's more important than basketball. And if we're not going to even make it past the Sweet 16 anyways, at least I can hang my hat on that, that we did the right thing. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, me too. You root for a bad guy and he's a bad coach. He's you never can't been be those two things. Season. Listen, you you've been all over Coach Cal. That guy that guy gets the Final Fours. He's got a he's got yeah, hard. They take them away and then they take them Dave, away. Dave, I got a I fun one for you. Uh, Greg Garden and Nate Oates have been in the same amount of Sweet Sixteens. Yeah. And one of them one of them gets told told that he's a terrible coach. Get the get the golf course ready. Nate Oates is not a good in game coach. He not calling he's a timeout good. when you have a twelve zero run. And ending the game with two timeouts in your back pocket is coaching malfeasance. And, Fox, and now, he, I mean, he, the he, guy he, fouled. It, we, they didn't no, plan no, no, on no, the fouling. timeouts. Tell me about the timeouts. I probably would have used my timeouts. Oh, okay. But again, I'm like, he but knows what he's doing. You, you, you could, uh, well, no, he no, doesn't. No, he doesn't. You could argue. He took Buffalo. If, the Mac is a one big league. He took Buffalo it, to a it, six. It, 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 and he got fucked in 2021. Didn't Bobby Hurley co come before that? Yeah, he, came yeah, he just he took a team that was good. No, he was Bobby Hurley 11. was at Buffalo before him, and he was an eleven. The next year, he was a yeah, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, building the team, and, right? He's right. Dan's right. He of took course, over. Big deal. Rico has a twisted logic of like Nate Oates. Being, Nate Oates has not proven anything. If you if you go after Cal, if you go after Rick Barnes, if you go after Greg Gard, you have to go after Nate Oates. He has had a one in a two seed and not been past the Sweet Sixteen. And and. and to continue along that, the the it, the unintentional foul, which you said they didn't mean to foul, theoretically, if you called a timeout and made it very clear, don't foul, play defense, maybe that foul is not committed. Or oh yeah, you could you could have called the timeout right there and been like, hey guys, here's the plan for the rest of the Correct. game. Correct. Yes. He had two. Yeah. Now so momentum, he had a really bad coaching game at least. Momentum was shifting where they're down I, two. They're panicking a little bit. I like say, the no timeout. Say say he had a bad coaching game. No, they had a bad shooting game. Oh okay. what about what about the overall worst season in hindsight with all the controversy? He How made can you possibly say that when the number one team didn't make the tournament this year? It's the first time it's happened since eighty five. What does that have to do with that? that Carolina you to that. You're just pointing at other people. Carolina. What's Carolina have to Carolina do with that? Carolina had the most embarrassing season. They went to the final four. Long, no, 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 no. Let, let, let me ask you this, because I'm not even exaggerating here. It, it what will follow these teams? Nate Oates, and I'm this isn't hyperbole, bully or whatever that word is. 
he will never live down the way he handled the, the minor situation. Now, Miller, excuse me. North Carolina, they'll be back in the tournament. They'll be good. This will be a blip. Nobody's going to remember this in five years. This will follow him forever the way he handled it. And again, I'm not even saying Miller was involved, not involved. That's not it. Well, it's an article all... in the patch that the timelines are very yeah, but, skewed. But, I read the but whole it's thing. how he handled but it. But did you just said what I hear what he said? Wrong place, wrong time. You got Nick Saban taking shots at him. Yeah. Nick Saban. Any, that's, any that's, coach. That, that's just... That's just false. He was no. at practice the next day. That doesn't wait, mean, wait, yeah, wait, because wait, he had take... to go pat him on the back and be like, when hey, first buddy. got there, Saban let him shadow. They're very tight. So They're what, you to, think that was a coincidence school. that Nick Saban you said? You, you think it was coincidence he was the exact phrasing? There's no such thing as wrong place, wrong time? If he was really, listen, if he was really mad at him, he wouldn't have gone to practice the next day. They're very tight. No, no, Rico, nothing Nick Saban does is a coincidence. You think he got up there and said that? Listen, and, and again, uh, I want to make it clear. I don't care whether it, it, a life was lost. That is more important than college basketball. So yeah. you had to take a step back. Even if he said, you're sitting for two weeks, I think people would have been a lot more comfortable with the entire two games. situation. I would have looked at anything. Two games. But, but the it state, was yeah. it was it was the, the way he handled it, wrong place, not his fault. And then the path down, he, I don't know. And, and fine, like what you said, Rico, winning cares all. Well, guess what? They didn't win. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't win. even get to the Elite Eight. The guy yeah. choked Miller, who I thought was the best. I had Alabama win the whole thing. I'll admit that. But they choked. Moving on, crazy tournament. All the way around, I I saw what's his name. The guy Fox say he can't watch college basketball. I hate that. It's some Who? games great. Uh, DeAndre Fox. Oh, why the guy from that? Sacramento. Brandon, Brandon said. Something oh yeah, similar. I did. We don't mention Fox. his name. It's sponsored by High Noon. All right, got it. A uh, certain tall guy with a saggy chest area had said that bas college basketball is a bad product. Which I didn't say that. Not you. It was a joke. But, oh, all right, missed that one. You're throwing, you're throwing ninety, you're throwing ninety. I'm catching up. Listen, uh, the, the, listen the, it's always been a bad product, but it's highly, highly, highly entertaining. It's so game by game. It's the game, four the, 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 the Texas versus uh, Miami. Miami was certainly was not. Texas didn't miss. Don't you dare do that. <laughs> Don't you dare do that. You're not. You're not doing this. What did he you're do? Not. What did he, he do? Did you me still have. You're you still not have doing that. Show me what he did. What no, did you do, don't. Rico? Rico, I'll, I missed don't. it. I don't want to hear a fuck. Well, no, don't say a fucking word about them. About the don't say a word. Burn the jumps. I don't want to hear a fucking word from you about Miami. I don't want to hear a fucking word. What did you do? Don't. Don't. I did a symbol. Don't. What was it? No. <laughs> don't. I'm thinking about putting a lot on All Miami. Right. But you're already – you were good. Yeah, I'm like the best free agent out there right now. I got people – Yeah, like, well, I, I don't to... want you near me if I right. do that. And listen, fair, I yeah, think UConn's enough. great. Miami's great. I've known that they would be trouble. I had people asking me. I had them for the Final Four. I wish I had them to win. I didn't. I just did Final Four because I had Alabama. I, but now that they're gone – and people ask me, who did I have for the Final Four? I had – uh, three futures total. I had Duke, I had Miami, and I had Bama. To win Bama, I bet early to win it. But before the tournament, the only two I took to the final four were Duke and Miami. Miami has a million guys who can beat you. Miami has a million guys who can beat That game versus UConn is going to be great. Awesome. Awesome. Great. The other I side. Have yeah, and, and they, they've turned it on. I it, that, Who's that I mean, face? I'm... We got two guys with futures, and like no, I, I don't have one right now. Stay away from the game. Yeah. Stay away from the game. Um, Just stay away from the game. I'm trying. What we'll go to the the end of Creighton real quick. Foul, yeah. no foul. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw the reason I like Charles Barkley. I don't know if you saw after the game they went to the like studio crew and they spent seven minutes talking about the stopwatch. At the end, on the inbound. And finally, Barkley's like, guys, shut up. No one cares about that. He's like, was it a foul or not? And that's exactly it. I was like, what are they talking about? This is the foul. I, yeah, I, I was foul. I I think it, I think it was a foul. 100% a foul. The stopwatch element was really a curveball that I didn't see coming. Who cared? I didn't care about it. It was off the other guy. That was Go irrelevant. Nice. You're so stupid. No, it, but it, that was. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. I just said why I like Barkley. He wants I to talk about it. It was 100% a, a foul. 
100% he wants to foul. talk about the stop. Do you think it was a foul? I yes. thought it was a foul. I also I tweeted out to awful way to shitty way to end the game, but it was a foul. And people got so angry that I would ever suggest that it was a foul. I actually think in a weird way, and this is gonna sound backwards, but if you're a Creighton fan, if you I lose you, yeah. in a heartbreaking way, I'd rather have it be something that I can complain about for the rest of my life. If you lose like Gonzaga lost to UConn, you got the shit kicked out of you. There's no if, ands, or buts. You lost a hundred times out of a hundred. Creighton fans, you lost. It sucked. You now get this little chip in your back pocket where you're like, we got screwed. We would have won the final four. We would have won the championship. That's something. You're walking away yeah. with something. I mean, but that's that's really that's really that that'll drive you crazy though. Oh, of yeah, course. That, well, I think I think most people are like you can argue swallow the whistle. You can argue they weren't calling it. They let them be rough the whole. Agreed. But that specific play. Was a foul. He, he it, as they used, dislodged him while it was in the air. And, well, it's initiating. The, con who initiated I, the contact is the term we use in the business. But okay. yeah, I don't uh, even know what you're talking about, Rico. The guy put his hand on him. Clearly, Dave, yeah, he initiated the contact. Yeah. The other part, Dave, about it is if it were a straight up and down, and they called a foul. If a guy was like in front of him, I would think it'd be a little bit more like, "What the fuck?" The guy got beat. So when you get yep, beat, yep. and it, it, and it, it changes a little in my mind. You're you're making a desperate clear, play you got clearly beat. beat. Clearly right. beat. I don't think it probably would have, but it, 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 he put his hand on him and pushed him a little bit to the side. Um, Wait, what, what about this stopwatch, though? What was the, the – Please don't Rico. do that. Please don't. No, I don't, we're not doing that. Um, Rico, what do you think of this guy, by the way? Another one of your boys. Yeah. By the way, I am now basically the king of Providence. I uh, like athletic directors, SIDs. I am going when Providence, when Georgetown comes to Providence, but I got like heartfelt messages. Like, thank God somebody's sticking up for Providence. And by the way, I like, I've no, it's a lateral move. I don't care what Jeff Bloom, goon, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah. Georgetown's been, was great when John Thompson was there in the eighties and you know, they had Iverson, they got Ewing. They've been borderline irrelevant. No coach in the history of the Big East, has jumped schools. And, you know, there's behind the scenes, we'll just say the rumors that I'm sure everybody has heard on why this happened. I, I'm not going to say what they are. Most people know what they are. But you just don't go from saying Providence is where you grew up. It's your dream. It's your home. You're never leaving. John Fanta, who I love, uh, it, 10 months ago, he's got an interview saying there's no chance he's ever leaving. No yeah. chance. And then suddenly... He's gone. He's recruiting for Georgetown while at Providence. That part uh, sucks. Horrible. Sucks. And, and it's a, it, again, if you go from Providence to Kentucky, I don't think people can say boo. Providence to Georgetown, don't say you can't win at Providence. Anybody can win anywhere in this current era of college basketball. And the more I dug into it, the more – Money, he said money didn't have anything to do with it. And Providence was paying a lot. The whole thing stinks is what it does. And if I was Providence, I'd be bullshit. I know he's your boy. He acted like your boy. What do you got on this guy? Yeah, I did have a nice lunch with him at the Final Four last year. Um, but it's... you Was that the lunch you didn't invite Marty and Jake to? It came up kind of quick, but... Uh, was yes. that the one that you over... Like, you were dressing so hard to impress? Yeah, no, I Dave, it was the one... walking down the street. He was, like, yeah. dressed it, in a tuxedo in 90-degree heat. I'm like, what are you doing? It was the one where he said he was, like, taking a nap, and then Jake yes. and Marty saw him walk out, and they're like, where are you going? <laughs> and he's like, oh, Bat I got other shoes. Yeah. Um, uh, he's Miko. Miko Bosco. You don't see how Georgetown is a, a <laughs> dream job for these guys growing up as African American coaches, though. Like Georgetown, no. uh, yes, yes, I can see that. Uh, so but it is uh, you can, the you, money not no, no, being no. that big a deal. You can, you can admire a guy, but I no, I don't buy that Georgetown. He he, I don't think six months ago he was like if Georgetown opens. He was at That's his dream right. job. He was yeah. at his dream job. That's probably right, and I think he thought, yeah. I think he thought people were going to see the history of Georgetown and growing up idolizing these guys as like a crutch, but there's a lot of factors that aren't helping his case either. Like you said, the money, it is in league. His, his, house, his house was on the market I know, he while, said, while he's still coaching. I, they, Jay asked him about that in the house. I just watched the clip on Twitter. It said uh, He said he was thinking about listing the house anyway, whether that's true or not. Like, Yeah, I mean, he might have been caught here 
with his pants pulled down, but I don't know. I, I'm still rooting for the guy. See, he's a nice guy, but it, what well, I just don't problem? understand I'm why you can be mad at the problem. If you're at problems, Jeff you Goldblum in his what he's he did all these I think fake sources, but he's like Georgetown has better academics. Like what? It definitely does. About? Definitely does. What does that have to do with college basketball? It actually, I think it actually hurts you. If you but yeah, to your point, you I don't know why you made in. that point. But to, to argue, Georgetown definitely has better academics than Providence. No, no, no. I, I'm. He was you. That was a reason. Well, that's why Georgetown that's can stupid. win over Providence. He, I, I, I honestly, I do think that Georgetown's a, a a little bit better of a job, but it's not significant like you said, Kentucky. I, he, no coach in the conference Ed has Kool, ever jumped school. Yeah. It just be honest. Like no, everyone knows the game. Everyone knows coaches. You know they flirt well, with other teams. Be honest, Dan. They do everything. Just fucking, just I tell people. Can. I don't think he can. I, I don't just think so said, either, but that's he's, that's he's it. He's like, relying on a crutch that doesn't have a lot of like real spot to stand on. But but the rumors, which we're that you who knows you don't speculate, but the rumors that are surrounding it, to me, I believe because nothing else makes sense, and he certainly can't comment on those rumors. Right. Um. Wait, I have one last final four. Rico, are we? So FAU is your team. FAU, San Diego State. I I think any four team, any of those four no. teams can win. win. I'm, any of the four teams I could pick here. Yeah, I want that on record. No, no, but I'm saying like any of those four. I I have a UConn future. I think they are the best team, but I do think that all four of these teams. I know people are like terrible Final Four. Oh, no blue bloods. Like all this shit. I think I would not be shocked if any of those four teams win the national title. Like, it's not – they're really good. If San Diego State gets to wear those black uniforms, I feel like those are worth, like, eight points. Yeah. They're quite intimidating. And and so my other question was, um, is Bosco going to come to Houston? He's not on – the itinerary as of now. What if he pays for himself? He would like to go and, and hear some coaches speak. He could Schmooze come. with more coaches. He could help Ruin on Barstool Live. We're going to be yeah. at Kirby's Ice House on Friday and Saturday. I know Fanta's going to stop by, which would be Should electric. we try to get Goldblum? We should I, try to get Goldblum. I can broker that sit down, yeah. With who? Jeff Goodman. I'm, I texted him. Do you think... Do you talking to a power a, broker here. Do you You're think talking we to need, the most... But he's got to know he's, 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 know he's not getting whacked when he walks in. What are you talking about? Guys like that, they 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 live for the 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 relevance that we give him. What he just showed. By the way, Goldblum came after phone. Good Goldblum, Goldblum Good came Goldblum came after me first. By the way, all yeah, he no. all he tweet he tweeted it was about the money. I just quote tweeted to say it was about the money. He called me like an idiot or something. Dave, you haven't so, been around. We got this new thing going called healthy debates. Like, so you get really worked up in it, but you go home and you don't take it with you like I was. You just wash it off. We could do a healthy debate down there. I think it'd be a good thing. Yeah, we have healthy debates, Dave. I don't think you know it. Like, on Friday night, I said that uh, Rico doesn't like Dan Hurley, and is- I woke up in the next morning, and Rico had tweeted, like, four videos and also responded to this one lunatic online, like, 16 times. Healthy debate. Right, but then Saturday, you say, hey, you know what, Rico? You're my pal. I see your Healthy point. debate. Healthy, healthy debate. debate. It doesn't um, eat away at me anymore. Every day is a good day if you make it one. All right, great, Rico. Uh, so can he moving come? on. What? Can you come? I, I'm not going to be held hostage right now. I'll, I'll think about it. All right. Uh, he could. He could get the. He could get. You, us. You're paying your own way. He's going to pay his own way. I, it was I, on the I, table. I was trying to do something with FAU. They they were in on it. Got it's so many hurdles to get through, but. Yeah, Why? FAU, the FAU coach was literally on record saying the highlight of the tournament was seeing us at the hotel. I I know there's, there's I, so I, was the answer was the answer. Well, we don't want Bosco. We'll take absolutely like, not. Dave, absolutely not. Speaking of that, Dusty May, I think he's going to come on PMT this week. But I actually remember talking to him like one on one at the hotel. Okay, great. You have a phone number, and I I, I said I, I, all I could get him out of my mouth when I saw him was. That wasn't a jump ball. So I don't think he was happy to see me. Because I was like, we got lucky, coach. That wasn't a jump I, it, ball. It, but it is the craziness of the tournament. They look like they were gone in round one. Yes. What, two, well, was that the, one, right? Yeah, Versus Memphis? Could, yeah. yeah, but you could say that about three. Miami, Drake, or and uh, FAU, and San Diego State barely beat Charleston. The only one who's coasting here is UConn. Who was still uh, weirdly down at at half Iona, yeah. but they were obviously better. But- yeah, my, Miami ended up winning that game comfortably. They were down very late. Um, one more video I got to talk about, and, and this is a coach that I think sort of gets the Coach K treatment, 
and that's mm. Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo, people suck his dick. That interview after he lost to Kansas State, where he's like, well, you know, they made some shots, but they made a lot of lucky shots, so those weren't actual shots, and we didn't play well. What a sore loser. All people do is suck this guy. That was – if. if Coach K said that, Dan, you would have the flashcards. Yeah, out. yeah. No, and listen. Co contrast that to the Kansas State coach who went into the locker room. I love that yes. move. And Classy. he's like, you guys Classy. are like the best guys we played. Same <laughs> team, by the way, wasn't it? Was it? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kansas State. They beat K-State. I mean, Izzo, what a baby. Uh, okay, All so had, I, oh, Dan, go first. Go ahead. No, you go, Rico. All he had to say instead of uh, lucky was, we got a bad. We got a few bad bounces. Off, that, that's but, all he listen, had to say. Listen, I don't care. In a, in a forty-minute basketball game, to complain about a yes. bank three is crazy. Crazy. The, when you the, say the, lucky, you're talking down to them. Can, if he said bad bounces, you could be like, all right, it makes sense, and no one but, thinks anything but, of it. There's bad. There's Do you know how many? times during a game there's like a scramble drill and yeah. it ends up in a, uh, a dunk and you thought you were going to give me a break yeah don't say lucky you shouldn't Dan have said lucky. one time the only thing i'll say about this is sore loser big time sore loser move i always am a little hesitant to like go crazy about these because we always in the media are like we want them to give real answers and that was as real as it gets that's how he was thinking he literally was walking off being like those lucky son of a bitches. So, like, it, it, he is a sore loser, but I also, in a weird way, like, respect the honesty, even but though Dan, it's total sore loser energy. I agree to a degree. It's the Tiger Woods. It, yeah. it, he, this... It's yeah, like yeah, when, yeah, yeah. It's like when Coach it, everyone, K lectures somebody yes. on another... Like, yes. he, he is this perfect sport this beacon of how you're supposed to be right. classy the, i i agree with what you're saying but that is not like that is not how he is portrayed right right if he were if he were uh always like that i would be great like i i like a guy who's just always honest you know what i yes. mean who like if they're just after every game be like yeah we were we were so much better than them or oh they got lucky Correct. you're right it, it you can't you can't have the love affair January, February, Izzo, and not be called out for that. Because so you're that right. wasn't – I didn't see many people talk about it. I saw a couple here and there. I posted it. Other coaches, that would have been, like, everywhere. Yes. Like, sore loser, what are you doing? Izzo, they turned the page. Um, Who would you, Dave? You speak of Tang. If you were Texas, would you have kept Terry or tried to make a run at Tang? <laughs> Who's Tang? KSU. K KS KSU. K-State. Rodney Terry is the interim guy at Texas. He was seven games above five hundred. In his oh, wait, what is your question this. right now? I, I, I would. They resigned. Texas resigned their coach. I would have resigned. Oh, them. today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have resigned. Well, them. the only reason I'm bringing up Dan in January, they were floating Tang as a possible replacement at Texas. Yeah, Got it. I, and, and again, this goes back to a degree of what I was saying about Cooley. In this day and age of college basketball, I firmly reject that you have to be at a blue blood or t certain type of school to win. You can get a couple guys and off you go. Look at the – like, that's why Coley, you can win at Georgetown, not Providence, but FAU, FAU or San Diego State is going to be the national title. Uh, Butler was Crazy. in the national title two, two games times. in a row. So don't give me – of all sports, that doesn't matter. Um, and By the Providence way, is basketball crazy. What? Uh, breaking news, uh, Hunter Dickinson's back. How's that even possible? See, I think he has two more years, Dave. Is he staying there? Yeah. I, I thought he I thought he was graduate. Good. All right, good. Um Skrill is the only betting wallet you need to keep your gaming funds secure and accessible. Make instant parcel sports deposits and withdrawals. Spend your winnings whenever you want with the Skrill card and keep your playing funds separate from your everyday bank account. Now you can supercharge your play with this limited time offer. The first 1,000 customers who use Skrill to deposit $20 or more to their Barcelona sports account will receive a $20 welcome bonus to add to your sportsbook playing funds between March 27th and April 2nd. To claim your offer, pay with Skrill between March 27th and April 2nd. Enter promo code SKRILL20. Um, Use Skrill to deposit 20 or more into your Barstool Sports account and you'll receive 20 welcome bonus to add to your Barstool Sportsbook playing funds. To claim your offer, pay with Skrill between March 22nd 
7th and April 2nd. Enter promo code SKRILL20. Uh, sign up for free at skrill.com slash barstool to start paying and playing your way today. Must be 21 plus. Available in select states. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Okay, so there you go. Skrill. Skrill.com slash barstool. Uh, moving on here. Frozen 4. Excellent. We hockey. always talk about it. Michigan in overtime beats Penn State quickly. They will be advancing to Tampa to pay Quinnipiac. Uh, that's New Haven, so New Haven Pizza. Uh, we have perennial power Minnesota and BU in the Frozen Four. Uh, boys, who you got in the Frozen Four? I was surprised Quinnipiac was in this. They're a hockey hey, power. I didn't attention. know that. They are a hockey power. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll go with Quinnipiac then. Yeah, they're very good. They got the guy uh, on the Bruins, Coyle, I believe. Charlie Coyle, local kid. Uh, he won a national title, I think, at Quinnipiac. Do we want to talk about women's hockey, too? If you'd like. Okay. Badgers have a dynasty. They've won three out of the last four. Okay. Are they in the fro- female? Oh, no, they already won four? it. They already won the they national. They already won it. It's done. Yeah. yeah. Done. Congrats Three to the out of the last four. Do you want to talk about wrestling? Uh, the, sure. the the Heisman Trophy, if you will, of wrestling went to a Michigan guy. Do you want to talk about NIT? We got a big sure. matchup tomorrow night in Vegas. North Texas, right? North Texas versus Wisconsin. I think the over-under said at 115. It okay, would be that's low. Oh, no, no, that's ugly. No, that's it would be tough oh. if, if Wisconsin advances and I have to go up against my guy, Jelly. Yes. Yeah, at UAB, yeah. Should have been at the Garden. It sucks it's in Vegas. Did you uh, see, Dave, I, I, I made a graphic? Yeah, the, the eight teams eight still teams playing. Remaining. People were yep. so mad. Um, so good luck to Michigan. Uh, and to Wisconsin. I, yeah, and to Wisconsin. Well, not in hockey because we already and won the wrestling. Uh, what A perennial hockey power. And the Frozen Four is a big-time event. I would go, but I'm going to be in Italy, unfortunately. I was in I was in person when Wisconsin won it in tw- uh, 2006. So, Milwaukee. so go blue. Nothing like overtime hockey with a so season wrestling. trip to the Frozen Four on the line. Does huh? wrestling wrestling have potential now? I know you were saying wrestling's dead. Might be bad. No, I didn't. I didn't say it was dead. It's never like hockey is like a popular college sport. Wrestling is going to always be niche. Um, Kyrie Irving has killed another team officially. The Mavs have been absolutely horrible. I think like seven and twenty-one or something since he's arrived. Uh, he then criticized the fans for booing, basically told them to shut up. Um, and last night he kicked a fan out. I don't know if we know what the fans said. There's videos of him going up demanding an apology. The only thing Kyrie had going is the guy was wearing an old redskin hat. So it's like you, you can infer if you're wearing still the old logo. While a great logo. I don't think anyone can deny that. It has you know, racist implications for people. So he had that going for him that the guy's wearing the hat. But still, to kick him out, and I does anyone know what he said? No. I still think NBA guys are the softest guys. And in, in the no other sport, people getting kicked out. I guess it's different, the proximity. But, you know, LeBron does it, Kyrie does it, and, and Kyrie is what Kyrie is. And someone's going to give him a shit ton of money, and all he does is kill teams. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh Luca, I mean, he, Luca he, he, he ruined Luca's life. Too. Yeah. Well, well, Luca also just doesn't play defense. But yeah, it's crazy how bad it's gone. I knew Ky- Kyrie has done this to multiple teams, but it's record time. It took a month for, for Luca to say he used to like playing basketball. Now he hates it. <laughs> Kyrie arrived. He hates basketball now. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. um, you could be you could be a massive talent, but if nobody wants to be around you, sometimes you got to start looking in the mirror. Doing that woe is me, hanging your head, you know, the negative attitude, that takes its toll on people, even as much talent as you have. Yeah, I'm not, if you think he's making an analogy to himself, I don't, I don't buy that. No, massive is incorrect. No, Um, he is, Dave. Making a comparison to himself? Oh, he was. was Having a little fun with it, yeah. Massive talent. Um, Sleep deprived from the, uh, you know, Tiesto set till seven in the morning, but. I'll catch up here. This is the run uh, Yeah. No, it I, does, it did, I, I, it did look like ultra kind of, kind of one versus you. Yeah. Wristband Davy. Wristband Davy looks like a 19 year old on spring break. We cut, we cut. Here's a mess. Yeah. I got a haircut so I can not wear a hat. Uh, I I've cut it down. That would have been like, let me put it this way. 
I left the club as Caleb was coming in. So <laughs> I, I'm cutting my time literally. Like I was leaving, he was just arriving. So <laughs> I've gotten things down. I know it was a uh, a one day thing that I got to do. It's a big event here. I did it. Um, LeBron versus Pat Bev. Pat Bev put LeBron in a blender, gave him a you're too small, beat the Lakers. LeBron also had favorite uh, some famous quotes saying with LeBron uh, of foot doctors basically magically healed coming off the bench. <laughs> still did the powder thing, which is crazy coming so off the crazy. bench. So uh, crazy. And the Lakers are ruined. In his tenure in L.A., he got so lucky with COVID. Because they weren't going to win a title. He won that no. fake title. But on that, they t- unmitigated disaster, really. Yeah. And and also, the best part about LeBron and the foot doctor stuff was he basically was like, m- multiple doctors told me to shut it down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like I was being like, great. Thanks, LeBron, so much for coming back. He I also thought- did, he also did it, which is a blatant lie, and we'll catch him on it. Um, it's like when he does his Zero Dark 23. But yeah. he starts tweeting like five seconds or post stuff. Like he, he perfect stays booties. Dark. Yeah, he stays dark for five minutes. Yeah, he said to the media, "If I have surgery in the off season, you won't know about it because I don't talk to you guys in the off season, and I'll be healthy." Yeah, right. If LeBron has surgery, he will be talking about it nonstop. Just a total lie. Total yes. lie. Um, I thought when Whitney it, had a great tweet when he said, uh, "So LeBron admittedly went to the not greatest doctor of all time." In reference to Jordan, I thought that was pretty Ooh. good. Yeah, burn. Um, Gwyneth it's Whitney's Paltrow. joke. <laughs> I'm just yes. relaying it. Yeah, I, I understood. All right, I didn't think. Hey, it was you're that like great you're like the, the kid at, at, at the lunch cafeteria. He's like, did you hear what he said? It was funny. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow court case. I don't know if you guys have fallen out. Read up on it actually today. So this happened like four years ago. She's skiing in Vail or somewhere in Colorado. And there's two accounts of what happened. One is this guy, like 65 years old, crashed into her. The other is she crashed into him. Um, they say this guy got brain damage. I, it is on a green circle slope. And there's just conflicting reports of what happened. I don't know that you can sue somebody. Well, you can because it's happening. But for a crash on a ski slope, I feel like crashes happen. No, especially All on a green time. Yeah, so what is that? A weird, weird court case. I'm yeah. on team Gwyneth, though, because Cruising, she did a cover of Cruising, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. So I think the guy's in the wrong. Okay. Um, thanks for that. Uh, I was Huey Lewis. What is what does Gwyneth weigh? Like 115? It's not like Ray Lewis coming over the middle. Yeah, yeah, it is. But they said the guy got brain damage. You have I to feel bad for the person. guy, but well, yeah, you that's... didn't get brain damage. You Who don't didn't? get brain damage. You just don't from Gwyneth Paltrow crashing. That's what they should just reenact it. Like, see how hard can you actually? They yeah, right. Four broken ribs and stuff. And they're just both totally telling different stories. She tried to bring snacks for the jury. Denied. Yeah. This is like, like awkward. when I got my, my old car, the Avalon. May she rest in peace. Best car ever made. I got uh, rear-ended. And then I went to the shop and I was like, oh, yeah. Like, ever since I got rear-ended, the, the speakers haven't worked. And the guy was like, buddy. <laughs> you blew out your speakers. It, yeah. it, it doesn't work like that. You don't get rear-ended and your speakers break. It's an interesting court case. It's, it's, it's the most watched court case since Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Uh, Harry Styles, Emily Redzikowski making out. Hot. It is, but it isn't because it was a sloppy kiss. And there's also rumors that, that he had a threesome with hot. Emily Blunt. That's hot. hot. Emily Blunt and Emily Redzikowski. I don't like Redzikowski. Wait, why do you, why do you say it's bad because of a sloppy makeout? Everybody has like after the club, the bars, diners, like sloppy no, it's on the not, street. It, it, it was not a hut makeout. I just thought of making out with Rico. Ugh, that's disgusting. Probably, eh. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say this about Radzikowski. Very so, hot, beautiful. I don't like how she. she here's my issue. Uh-oh. She always she complains about being objectified, feminism, all this stuff. But then she goes and makes out in public and posts nude pictures, and she's gorgeous. People are going to talk about your sex life, and you unfortunately will be objectified if you put yourself out consistently in situations like this. And then she's going to complain like, "Oh, I, I have a, like bad taste in men." Like, "Oh, you think it's going to we- end well with Harry Styles or Pete Davidson?" Or so it's just stop complaining about every man and being objectified because you're picked like no shit. 
You're with Harry Styles. He's, you're not going to settle down with Harry Styles. So I don't like when you, you, you don't own up to your actions. Like, you can do whatever you want. Just don't complain when people make fun of it. That's all. That's my she's thing. She's hot, though. Leave. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Um, Lamar has requested a trade. Yeah. Thoughts? I think he should, he should try to go to the NFC when you look at the gauntlet of the AFC. Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, Jones. My thing with him is he's a hard guy to trade for because you probably got to like put in a whole new offense. It's he's not a traditional quarterback. I but and the flip side, the Colts, the Falcons, like the Falcons, here's what I don't understand. Like the Falcons were all in on Deshaun. They wanted Deshaun with everything that was going on. What's why would you not be all in on Lamar? Like same with the Colts. The Colts have been playing QB carousel for the last fucking 10 years, it feels like. what? Like, you're going to go and draft someone? Okay, then you might... Like, Lamar was the MVP. That doesn't happen by accident. Totally understand the injury shit. Like, that's a fair comment. And I get what you're saying, Dave, with the new offense. I still, if you if you listen all the quarterbacks right now, Lamar is better than half of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Deshaun Pryor take out, like, the massage shit, if if you told me, hey, you can have Deshaun or Lamar, I don't hesitate. I take Deshaun. I think he's a far more complete quarterback than, I mean, everyone knows how I feel about Lamar. I don't think he can throw. I, I also would just love to see Lamar have a real wide receiver core at some point. But I just don't understand. Like, if you're if you're Jim Mersey, you've, you've watched. You've gone through Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, Phillip Rivers, all this shit. Lamar can fix that. Maybe it's not a long term ten years because of the style of play, but in the next five years you're you're back in the mix. Yeah. The interesting thing to me, do you see potentially the Jets getting in the mix here if Rodgers keeps dragging his feet? Didn't because didn't the coach just say today like we're one hundred percent getting Rodgers? I thought he said that. Sala, I thought they, he said that. But they both like it hasn't been done. I thought it was done a week ago. They both keep dragging their feet. They both think they have leverage. Like. Just an interesting wrinkle in if, Again, if they start fucking To me, with they're Lamar. just such different offense. Like you, you have to really build everything around Lamar. I'll um, give you a point, Rico, for trying to say something different. Uh, last one, Ump Show. This clip just came out preseason, so spring training. Who really cares? But still, a funny ejection. Um, it is Diamato the the catcher uh, who's on the USA? He's still in the Phillies, right? Or did he change teams? Um, I think it's Real still- Real Diamato. It looked like no was- Real Muto. Real Muto. He he looked like he was waiting for to get the ball from the umpire. <laughs> put his glove back and then takes it and removes. He didn't know the ump was giving it to him and the ump ejects him. Classic like Joe West. Just very funny. I'm sure that's a classic part of baseball. Everyone complains about it. I never want it to go away. Ump shows are like very unique. Needed Agreed. part of baseball. I just watched it live. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah, he thinks he turns the glove and, and he's just had enough. And he thought he was fucking with him. That's very, it's, very funny. It's it's It really is like Joe West, as much as people hated him, like you just knew who was in charge. So I went and Googled to try to find out exactly what the name of Joe West's like, protest was when he tried to do the ump appreciation day. I didn't realize he has, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't want to get sued, he has been kicked off Wikipedia for editing his profile too much. Joe West. <laughs> he's gone back in everything that he th- feels like is incorrect. He's going to try to like, there was but some that's, big deb- That's That's Joe West. That's the umpire. Correct. He's trying oh, to umpire the that. internet. I, respect <laughs> I like that. that. I really, Imagine you know, getting banned on Wikipedia. So uh, I guess people are saying he got in a fight with Joe Torrey once, and he says it didn't happen, and he kept going try to edit it. But it like did happen. And he's like, well... He, he got suspended three games for pushing Joe Torrey in, in the tunnel. He's like, yeah, but Joe understood. Whatever the case may be, I was pleasantly surprised to see Cowboy Joe West is banned from Wikipedia from making too many edits to his profile. So he's still out there doing it. That's the ump. Uh, do we have anything post-show that we want to talk about here? That's everything I had. We go to Houston? I'll think about it. You didn't answer. Are you paying your own way? I was... Looking at it, yeah. I just uh, yes. Is that a yes? It's on the table. Well, I said I'd yeah. help. Yes, yeah. If Rico pays his own way, yes, he can go. Well, there you go, Rico. That's big. 
All right. So, I mean, I know you want to go to a bunch of conferences and shit. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get some more numbers. Obviously, everyone's now, you know, down there. A lot of people to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. But, go. but, 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 but if you come, you you're gonna do barstool stuff too, right? Well, what I'm not gonna in- interject myself into that and think like all of a sudden you're in the starting lineup. Rico's been fun on streams, Dave. I'll say it. He's been fun on streams. What do you think of the Woj video and the Tang video, Dave? The clap video? Yeah. It was tough to watch. What about the Woj video? I only saw it was from far away, right? Yeah. Yeah. So well, Jake was, yeah. Well, no, you can read his lips. He goes, oh, Bosco. First, yeah. he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And then I was like, well, you do because you said, oh, Bosco. So he basically said it was a private DM and he wouldn't he wouldn't apologize. But he did say this, I was right. Steve? I got him to say what, I was right. What if what if he comes barstool pays, but he has to wear a shirt that says Nito is a scumbag the whole time? That that I would agree to. Okay. So that that's we're working in the right direction, Rico. Well, Why nice he option. hasn't been wearing those shirts though. No, he has not. The Terrence is a scumbag shirt. He said Dan said wear it for pickle. And you didn't and then, well, right, I didn't then, say I don't know. Wait, but I, I didn't say don't wear it for the other stuff. All right. You didn't say I said do wear, wear it for Pickham. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, Nobody I didn't said... have to say do wear it. I didn't know the timeline. All right, well, I mean, one of those shirts, maybe. If you wear that, like, with the coaches' meetings, I think that would be good. Oh, is a if you do that, then Nate, he gets paid? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Maybe if you wear it gets paid for. Well, if 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 you wear that twenty four seven from the second you're in Houston all the time, then yeah, we'll pay for your stuff. Oh, I have like twenty of them at my desk, Rico. So that I think is a fair trade. Okay, great. All right, that's that's a great yeah. It'll be great to see you in Houston, Rico. I will take a look at that. Yeah, and we will have Barstool live. I don't know. I think there's multiple Kirby's. I think it's the one we're doing. We did the rundown at, right? I didn't know there's multiple Kirby's. I'm pretty sure there is. So five to seven local Friday, two to four local Saturday, I believe. And then we'll get the graphics and we'll get all that. Have we out. have we reached out to Danny Boy? I'm talking to him. I'll talk to him. I went in his spaces last night. I said if you can, you know, talk to Dave. I called you Portnoy because he always calls you Portnoy. I just love that. I don't know why. It's very official. Uh, he calls me Cat and you Portnoy, but I said that wh- he could sit with a. I'll buy tickets to the game out of my own pocket for him to. I mean, it would be great. It'd be an honor to sit with him. Hey, he. Yeah, I congratulate him. I said, "Congrats, Danny. Great job." He was this big, big. It's Huge. All up to you. Yeah. Huge. What is it, Rico? Did you? Oh. Don't do oh! It, Rico. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, 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 oh Dave. Oh. No. Do it. Do it. Well, it also could mean I could do this. U C O N N. Isn't that what they do? I don't know. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do.